Hi there and welcome to 272analytics.com's tutorial on how to use quantile regression in Stata. In order to do so we'll start by loading the auto data set that comes within Stata and I'll let you observe what it is. It's, it's a data set here on the price, miles per gallon, weight and some other characteristics of cars both foreign and domestic from a US perspective and what we'd like to do today is do a quantile regression on four variables in total, one dependent and three independent. Before we do that though, I'd like to conduct a, an ordinary least squares regression here using the REG command just to model the effect of weight, length, and foreign manufacture on the price of a car. I'd like to show you these results and then I'd like to do quantile regression to show you how the results differ through use of that function. So the first thing we notice here is that the regression is uh, significant it has a pretty decent effect size here and we see that weight length and foreign status all impact the price of a car there's a positive correlation between weight and price a negative correlation between length and price and finally cars that are manufactured outside the United States are about three thousand five hundred seventy three dollars more expensive so that's the ordinary least squares regression approach now let's do a quantile regression I'm gonna highlight my code here and just show you what's different the REG here becomes QREG for quantile regression and at the end we put a comma and tack on quantile and in the parentheses the quantile we're interested in. Now what a quantile is is just a way of focusing in on a slice of the distribution of the dependent variable in a regression which is price here. So at the 25th quantile we're interested in the lower priced cars. I think that's the easiest way to, to explain that. And what we would do, for example, at the 75th quantile would be to focus in on some of the more higher value cars. And of course, a quantile can go uh, as high or as low as you want it to within the zero to one bound. Why we want to do that is the following. When you start to focus in there on quantiles, you'll see some changes. Here, for example, when we're looking at quantile 0.25, we see that length is no longer a significant predictor of price as it was in the OLS model. So when we focused in on these lower price cars, we saw that length is no longer uh, a significant predictor of price. And interestingly, when you go up to the higher price cars, you see that length once again becomes a significant uh, and negative predictor of price which it also was here in the regular regression except the coefficient grew a lot by the time we focused in on the quantile for 0.75. So that's a demonstration of how quantile regression can focus in on effects that might be specific to a certain quantile of the distribution of the dependent variable. I hope this tutorial was helpful to you and I would like to invite you to visit 272analytics.com for access to all our free statistics tutorials in Stata, SPSS, R, eViews, and Minitab. Here at 272analytics.com we provide data consulting primarily to graduate students. Therefore we work very closely with you in order to perfect your chapter 3 and chapter 4. That means helping you design surveys, uh, getting your data input, assisting you with fashioning appropriate research questions and hypotheses, uh, getting your data, extracting them, transforming them, cleaning them, uh, putting them through analysis, uh, interpreting them, explaining them to you so that at the end of the day you know exactly what story your data tell, why they matter, what they mean in a manner that lets you write a, a perfect chapter 4 uh, following a perfect chapter 3 and lets you defend your dissertation or thesis with complete confidence. We provide ethical consulting. It's not a writing service, so you will be responsible for taking our blueprint, our assistance, our consulting, and transforming them into an appropriate academic project for yourself. I'd also like to remind you that we provide the same services to undergraduate students who are working with quantitatively oriented assignments. Thank you so much for listening and have a great day.